This is like three. This is like three years of growth. Three. I'm like, do y'all see this? I'm so excited. <laughs> it's a lot of hair. It's a lot of hair. It's a lot to get used to. My 4C girls will understand what I'm talking about. Um, our hair is not like 3C hair where it's kind of, you know, a little softer, a little more manageable, just a little bit more manageable. Our hair is a beast and that makes us beastly. It, do you understand? Like, do you get that? Do you understand that the kinkier the coil, the more beast you are? Girl, come on. G come on. Come on. Get it together. We know this. This is our crown. I'm I'm finally accepting. I'm finally getting to a point where I'm coming to terms with my hair. Like, y'all don't understand. I tried to transition a few times and was let down because there were a lot of people that were not supportive of it. Um, even people in my own family were like, are you going to do something to your hair? And I'm like, did you not just see me in the hour in the mirror? Did you not just see me in the mirror for three hours trying to get my hair to look like this? And you got nerve to tell me, did I do something to my hair? What? Yes, I did. And because it's not straight, somehow it's not neat and it's not presentable. Come on. It's annoying. And that's... If I had stuck with it back then, because I started when I was 18, if I had stuck with it back then, I would have been seven years natural now. I'd have been looking back and looking at them like, oh, you know, like, you never want to let other people's opinions make you do something you don't want to do. You know, it's already challenging enough to deal with this hair because it's 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 a hair that requires a lot of patience and a lot of love and not being able to get that support from people that you care about the most is is devastating but i had to come to grips and come to terms and be like you know what this is what i want to do for myself so regardless of what my family and friends think they want to say about me or my hair i'm gonna do what I feel is best. So that's what I did. And I transitioned about three years ago at like 22, I'm 25 now. So yeah, so three years transition. I finally cut off all of my relaxed ends about three weeks ago. Y'all, look at all this hair. <laughs> look at this hair <laughs> um i'm going to the beach later i'm about to wear my my uh kente cloth bathing suit but y'all i'm feeling myself you know because i mean as black americans we want to we we try our hardest for the most part to kind of fit in and, and subconsciously we do it. We don't even notice that we're doing it anymore, but we do it. Like, y'all, I have so many different natural hair stories, hair stories in general, stories in general about how, like, I just, you know, I've had bosses tell me I can't wear my hair a certain way. Yeah, if y'all want, if y'all want any of those little stories, I got y'all. But um, yeah, like. We try so hard to conform to our jobs and our schools and our friends and it's just it's it's exhausting and it it costs a lot of money and and it covers up the greatness that we are it completely covers it up like i love me a good weave believe me y'all know i love me a good weave i really really do for me it's it's just as versatile as my natural hair. It can be strained, it can be curled, it can be put up in a bun. I can do whatever I want with it. And I like it because it protects my natural hair from, from damage. Say I want to go blonde, I don't have to do that on my natural hair. I can just put a weave in. But, you know, a lot of times we just, I don't know, we just don't, 
we don't accept ourselves and we're so busy looking for everyone else's acceptance and it's like you'll be waiting forever you'll be waiting forever because this isn't for everyone this isn't for everyone if they can't handle you at this state then they're not meant for you it's just bottom line you know uh but yeah y'all I can't even keep my hands out of my hair. It's so cute. Like I, like I realized the key to the fro is to make sure you fluff it, you know, so that it's like kind of symmetrical from all angles. You just kind of fluff it. Yes, ladies. Yes. Get with it. I love it. Um, I'm starting to love it i feel very ashamed because like i never wear my hair out like this i don't wear my hair like this to work or to school listen boys <sighs> y'all we're gonna have to talk about boys later but basically you know kids talk about your hair talk about how nappy your hair is and it's like y'all there was this one time i was in like fifth grade and i decided to straighten my hair but I had a track meet that day and I thought I was going to be so cute with my hair straightened and down and pretty. And um, I usually don't do that because mom usually didn't let me wear my hair down because she thought it was too grown. Listen, I'll explain that another day. But I snuck and did it. I, I straightened my hair and I wore it down and um, I wore it to the track meet. I just thought I was the stuff boy with my straight hair like halfway down my back, right? Listen, it got to raining in that place and my hair, <laughs> by the end of it, my hair looked, it didn't even look like this. It was more shrunken than this. Like this is like a, a halfway twist out. It was like, it was frizzy. It was matted. It was everywhere. And I was devastated because I was really trying to impress this boy. <laughs> Why does it always lead back to boys? I was really trying to impress this little boy. And I was so embarrassed. I had my t-shirt over my head. I didn't want him to see my hair in its natural state. And it's, it's so, I feel like there's so many people out there who have experiences like that. Where it's like, you feel like you won't be accepted for it. But it's like, listen, we're getting so much better these days. Like. And it's like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders because I'm free. I'm free. I can wear my hair in a fro if I want to. You know what I'm saying? That that in itself is so beautiful to me. It's a symbol of power. We have regained our power. Like I should have worn this to Black Panther, the Black Panther premiere. I should have. I should have just went all out. Well, I just was too excited to see the movie, so I didn't even care what I looked like. I, I just had to be in there. But, yeah, like, yeah, y'all. Like, the roots of our hair goes back to Africa. And when we were brought here, we were kind of forced to assimilate or be killed. Um, so we made up inventions like the hot comb and the relaxer. I mean, think about this ladies. Think about this for a second. To be able to come up with something like the hot comb and relaxers, that meant we were scientists. These ladies were scientists. They were innovative and they worked that science. And it's like, those types of professions are not even heard of in the black community for the most part, but that's what they were. It's just beautiful to me. Just thinking about all y'all, I could go on and on and on forever, forever, forever. But my point is to tell the ladies that look like me that it's okay. I know that it's hard. I'm coming to terms with my own hair as we speak. 
I know that it's difficult. I know that there are times where you are frustrated with your hair. I know there are times where your hair doesn't move the way you want it to. I know there are times where your hair is so tangled, you're just like, take it off. But don't. 